I am Henry Faulkner and this is an attempt to do a slightly more competent demonstration of weather fax reception here in Auckland, New Zealand. I am using the Sony ICF SW7600GR which is the last model in the range that Sony did about 20 years ago. So here is the Sony ICF SW7600GR receiver. It's from 20 years ago, but it is still listed as one of the 10 best shortwave receivers. Now, I have replaced the LED. The old one was a very dim green one, which was the only one they could get at the time. But there is a drop-in replacement available now, which I put in. We are now waiting for the next weather facts forecast. This is the beginning of the weather facts transmission on 5805.11 megahertz to be precise. Med service had increased their power for a day or two but for some reason they have not retained a power increase. Here is the beginning of the transmission. In the right top corner you can see that the upper carrier frequency of the weather fax signal is not entirely noise free. But nevertheless, we get a usable reception. The transmission lasts about 13 minutes. I will not bore you with the whole of it. I'll come back in when the picture is almost complete. This radio, the Sony ICF SW7600GR, does have a connection for an external antenna. It's just the usual jack plug socket. I have adapted it to a PL259 connection and that goes to my off-center fed dipole up on the roof. Other people use the G5RV this uses an open line feeder, a crocodile clip connection will do on those. Now, we are now getting closer to the end of this particular transmission. The advantage of using a antenna with a coaxial connection is that it can be set up in such a way a little bit of care that the coaxial cable does not receive domestic and computer noise on the way down. When the G5RV is used with a crocodile clip you only use one side of it and the feeder receives external signals all the way down. Gains on the swings and losses on the roundabouts. My off-center fed dipole has got a ballon at the top and this ensures that no signal is received on the coaxial braid on the outside of the cable.
and the rasping sound that you just heard indicates that the transmission is finished and my program JVCOM32 has indeed shut down the scrolling of the incoming picture. So now I have set up for the next frequency. This is the start tone which lets me adjust the tone if I need to. This tone lets me adjust the tone where my figure is on the right hand side. So here is the old picture still and when the lone tone has finished you should see, in fact you do see, the start of the new picture. Currently in my location New Zealand weather fax reception is a bit of a compromise. So here is the header of the transmission that uh, shows the Pacific and New Zealand. Again, I will restart the video when the picture is almost complete. This reception is not entirely noise free either. The graphic in the top right corner uh, shows you that it's not a steady peak, which should be quite narrow in ideal conditions. The picture itself has a step in it. We didn't used to get that until the use of computers and Wi-Fi and all that sort of thing proliferated to the extent where it does intrude into shortwave reception. But the program JVCOM32 allows me to process that out in a step after the reception of the image. You can see New Zealand in the left half towards the bottom. To the left of New Zealand you've got the Tasman Sea, to the right of New Zealand it's the Pacific Ocean.
that is the end of this reception. I will attempt to get the next frequency as well. On this frequency I may have to adjust the tone. I'll try and do that without knocking the camera. I had to adjust the tone so that the program will recognize the start signal. Here is the start signal. And that tone will partially align the picture in the middle of the screen. The graphic in the top right corner shows far less noise than before. You can still hear it on the radio itself. But as the picture starts, there is less noise in it. There's a disruption in the picture here. It could be local noise that causes this to happen. But the intended pictures have started again. Also, the picture has st shifted to the left slightly. This can be corrected in post processing, as I said before. New Zealand in the bottom left has just started to appear in the picture. If it wasn't for the loss of synchronization in the top of the picture, this would be the best one so far.
I have looked in the program to see whether there's a setting that allows me to eliminate the loss of synchronization, but I have not been able to find one. I have a suspicion that the author of this program is no longer amongst us, so I can ask him what to do about it. I also use an amateur radio transceiver for reception of weather facts and the reception on that is near identical to that of this Sony ICF SW7600GR. Raspberry noise indicates the end of the transmission of the picture again. Both the transceiver and this portable radio are now about 20 years old. So that actually speaks well for the, both of them, that you can, after 20 years, still do useful weather facts receptions with them. I have received this weather chart three times. This is the last one, the middle one, and the first one was decidedly a bit noisy. I can load them all in turn. I could improve this one a little bit, but since I got a better one, I'll look at the other two. That one has less noise, that one less noise still, but it does have a bit of the chart missing. So I will try that one as a compromise. I will load it. First thing I will do is exit from this particular window. Then I will choose this hand which allows me to get rid of the step. Then I will center the picture a bit more, which I do with this. This is a compromise. Again, it looks a bit better. Now, the next thing I can do is process the picture a bit without going to Photoshop Elements. I will increase the contrast. My trial and error found that two steps on this graph is about the best. Then to make the intended black lines a bit darker, I can reduce the overall brightness. I do bring up the noise a bit, but it does make the actual 
weather chart a little bit more easy to look at. I will step out of this and then overwrite my original picture with this one. So now I look what I've done. This is my improved picture. Here is the first reception not processed. Here is the second reception not processed. But this one after processing is now quite acceptable. So here is one more look at the processed weather facts picture. The range of 7600 receivers lasted for a number of years and the GR was the last one produced. It clearly is quite a capable model. It is still not too shabby compared to some of the Texan as well as others and it's still used by many reviewers as a yardstick for comparing the current range of models. I am Henry Faulkner and today is August the 31st 2017.